Joe suffers from multiple personality disorder. I'm not Joe. I'm just keeping you here until he finally comes back. How can he or someone like you develop it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hallucinating. Now known as dissociative identity disorder, it can cause a person to switch into alternate identities, such as when Joe tried to catch Reese out. What are you thinking of? Oh, don't be coy. Then when we look at this same scene from the camera recording, we can see Joe is chatting to himself. You think I'm a this isn't necessarily how it works in the real world, but it is a good visual representation. The three main symptoms are forgetting certain time periods. No, I'm good. Is he tapping? How did I get in here? Forgetting specific events. I never wanted this to happen. Some, something is happening to me, but I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it all. And forgetting personal information. Oh, our code is uh, 250903. Rothko's birthday. But how does this work? The brain creates amnesia barriers which prevents headmates from remembering what other headmates have done. Nadia didn't realise she was giving Reese's book to his number one fan, who'd already read it quite a lot. But you didn't know that either. This is triggered in times of significant stress and can lead to a person becoming an alternate version of themselves, an altar and attributing those actions to them. Handoy tradition. I think you'll find Marianne in time after all. This explains why Joe is blanked out and barely reactive at the dinner table as he is experiencing an episode of detachment. Joe, don't ignore me. Joe Goldberg. But how does this develop? One of the main causes is believed to be prolonged trauma experienced during childhood, which Joe has plenty. Your father who used your armpit for an ashtray, your mother who never did anything to stop him, or maybe you miss that uh, insect ridden group home that drove you to my doorstep. Another comes from his mum abandoning him. Why'd you leave me there? We need to start over. Joey. Completely. So why didn't this happen with Joe sooner? Well, although DID is developed in childhood, it may take a significant stress in adulthood to activate it. His most recent major stress being Love Quinn, trying to take him out. I'm not the problem. My husband is the problem. Has Joe's other symptoms been present? Is what aware? Joe has experienced delusions and anxiety, thinking everyone will cause harm to his love interests. Today it's Annika, tomorrow it could be you, us. Becca, I may never be able to prove your best friend is capable of destroying you with a flick of her wrist, but that won't stop me. Recently has been quite disorientated and fallen asleep in odd places. Although Joe isn't one to use substances, when he has, he tends to black out, causing memory loss. With Joe changing his identities multiple times throughout the show, some would argue that he actually has been presenting alters consistently throughout the show. For some with DID, they have experienced almost 100 alters. So is there hope of helping Joe or others with this condition? Yes. We get glimpses of this throughout the story, recently when Joe stares at the image of the cat. Okay, I'm the... Simon is a genius. And when Joe goes to the therapy session of one of Love's friends. You have been in the pursuit of someone to love and care for for all of your life. What if you were that person? Therapy for DID focuses on identifying past trauma, managing behavioral change, and merging multiple identities into a single one, which is what we see in the end with Joe and Reese becoming one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.